Unemployed Floridians have been trying to guess when the work search waiver will expire. Many thought it was going to expire last week, but they were surprised to hear that it had been extended once more time. Finally, the governor has set the record straight. On your side's Jocelyn Howard shows us the governor's announcement that it will expire and it will expire by the end of this month. You are going to have to resume uh, at the end of this month uh, the job searching. The work search is not new. It's always been required prior to the pandemic in order to receive benefits. When it's reinstated, claimants will have to prove they applied to five jobs per week or they're ineligible for benefits. Only people that are exempt from performing the work search are any claimants who are members, official legitimate members of a union hall who have a hiring pool and then people who are returning to work within eight weeks. Former event coordinator Marty Fuchs says though many jobs are available, he can't get anything in his field. Actually, most of us are accustomed to a, a certain quality of life that our past employment has provided us. Unemployment expert Vanessa Brito points out the work search wasn't only waived because of lack of jobs, but the burden it would put on Florida's troubled unemployment system. It's the fear that the system is not prepared to handle, you know, this burden and this kind of data. Brito says with system changes often comes massive glitches. I'm more concerned that we're going to crash the system. Fuchs says a work search shouldn't be hard. He's been applying to many jobs, but he hasn't had to document them and connect. I'm really concerned that we're going to have more computer and system issues and will prevent people from getting paid in a timely fashion. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.